All right, welcome back, everybody. It's going to be a recap here for my trades on this Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. So if you watched my recap from yesterday, and these are all the trades that I made uh, in our in our Discord channel, as well as some of the trades that I put on first thing in the morning that during the first 30 minutes that's open to everybody. One of the positions I had is I came in long on the gold. Now, I did carry gold overnight, as I mentioned last night. I did carry gold overnight. Actually hit my uh, reversal point down here, but I didn't actually take the reversal here. Because when I was looking at uh, the volume, it looks like we were going to get a little bounce. And we actually did get a little bit of bounce. I was also watching silver to see how silver was playing out. Silver was pretty quiet. So what I, what I did is I kind of waited here. Um, and I actually re-entered here. So once we started to come back up here and we started to fall, I went ahead and entered. Of course, it did go a little bit higher, but I was still okay because I really wasn't looking to reverse unless we broke through that initial buy area that I took yesterday. So anyway, I held this trade for quite a while. Now, unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, um, my internet went down. And so I was kind of stuck on this trade. But I actually ended up getting out and doing quite well. Went through, I had a target, I think I had a target somewhere around here, around the 28 was a target. But by the time everything came back up, and I was still short and doing all right, I went ahead and exited here towards the end of the day. Had a beautiful profit on gold. So that was my trade on gold. So really nice reversal. Um, and gold was really, I mean, I just, if you can't, when I bought yesterday and the fact that it took all day for it to go someplace, I had a feeling that the reversal was going to be a good one. And sure enough, a lot of times when I get into a trade, if I'm holding on to it for a long period of time, and these patterns tell you a lot about the market. So when I get into a trade and the pattern just kind of goes flat for an extended period of time, that usually shows a lot of weakness in that market. All right. So a lot of times what I'll do is if I do get that reversal, I'll go ahead and I'll put some added size onto it because typically those trades turn, turn out to be really good. Now, in this case i didn't get too aggressive with it but i got aggressive enough but it was a good um you know it went from 30 something all the way down to 24 so just a beautiful trade on gold uh all right so let's look at my one really nice trade on the stocks and uh i didn't do anything in the afternoon because my internet was down but i did catch some nice trades in the morning so let's see how we did on the stocks all right, so DCTH was uh, was my beautiful trade today on uh, on stocks right after the opening. I got an entry. It was uh, I believe yeah, it was pairing pattern buy on DCTH. A lot of buying coming in. Didn't see a whole lot of uh, selling coming on. So we went through um, these two targets. After we went through these two targets, it did set up three additional targets. So what I ended up doing is after we broke through here, we started running, went ahead and added right in here. And uh, so we went through these three additional targets. And then once it hit these targets and started to fail, I went ahead and I took my profit. So I took my profit right, and eh, where was it? It was right here. This, this was actually the profit target right here. This right there on that second from the top. So that's where I ended up getting out which was my profit target so just a beautiful trade on dcth so let's look at the overall results for the day once again these were on the morning watch list i didn't have an afternoon watch list because once again internet was down for me so i couldn't get an afternoon watch list i did go back later on and look and there was some really nice setups unfortunately didn't have the uh, access to take advantage of it but we still did pretty good here. Uh, made some money a little bit on um, TSAT. FNGD, you know, not a lot. One hand and I scalped this. I actually, um, on uh, TSAT and FNGD and even on MGNX, once I entered the trade, I actually put in my, um, my exit, uh, uh, exit orders to get out. Okay, so I wasn't looking to go for really large targets on these three trades um, because they're starting to get later in the afternoon. I'm sorry, later in the morning. And um, so I just, when I entered, I went ahead and put my target in, put my stops to get out. And that was it. I just let them run. 
and uh, they did hit the targets once again when i do that i'm not going to put on too much size really the money's going to be made when you guys are trading it's going to be in the morning you're going to catch out one or two stocks that just really explodes you want to take advantage of it all right so big part of it is uh, making sure that you have you know a good watch list um, so whatever you use I use several scanners that I use and then like I said I look for I have several different uh, parameters that each one of the scanners are looking at and then I like to see if there's a correlation between them to see if they're all showing the same kind of stock and if they are then I'm gonna then I want to go ahead and put on my watch list and so uh, usually one sometimes several of those will hit but I'm usually gonna catch one alright so I'm usually gonna catch one and I'm gonna jump on board and take advantage of it now there are times when I'm gonna jump in on it. it's not gonna go anywhere but typically that one that moves is uh, is gonna make make up for the small little losses I have on the other ones because typically those really don't collapse too bad they do sometimes obviously I mean there's nothing perfect but Typically, you're going to have one of those if you have the proper uh, parameter set up for your watch list or for your scans, I mean, and you have and you create yourself a watch list. Typically, you're going to have at least one or two of those that really have a nice little move to the upside. So um, that's assuming that they have, you know, good enough volume and, and, you know, you're watching order flow and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, man, when you get the profit targets set up, you know, and you get nice little patterns set up, and um, and then you see that market exploding, and then you're just seeing more targets developing, gosh, those are the best trades, all right? So, like I said, uh, early in the week, I just had a feeling this was going to be a really good uh, week, and it's that has certainly been the case all across the board. And um, I think tomorrow being my favorite day to trade, Hopefully, that's going to be another big day for me on Thursday. So, love trading Thursdays. So, we'll see how we do tomorrow. Um, so, anyway, looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, Y'all have any questions, you can uh, contact me via my website, Innovative Trading Strategies. And please check out all my videos that I have on my YouTube channel, InnovativeTradingStrategies.com. And uh, everybody have a good day. And we'll see you. Please join us in the morning. And uh, we'll see if we can get some nice little, nice little winners first thing in the morning. Take care.